us. But it's now becoming an ind individual battle for stranded Ghanaian students in volatile cities in the Ukrainian capital to ferry themselves away from bombings as the Russian invasion intensifies. Now, students in the hardest hit Sumi, Kharkiv and Dnipro have all been enduring days of power cuts and living in bunkers without basic supplies. One of four students who risked the dangerous 22-hour journey through forests across the Hungary border says escaping the war is now down to personal responsibility as government indicates her inability to offer any help to those in zones where the invasion has been intense. I'm kind of relieved, but not relieved at the same time because I've got a lot of friends back in Sumi, like uh, good people, good friends, colleagues who are still stuck over there. And uh, it's sad you can't actually do anything about it. You just have to hope and pray everything goes on well with the evacuation or when they plan to move, everything goes on well for them. So when we got to um, the um, train station, that is the Budapest train station, we all got splitted because everyone has a different plan. Some are going home to Ghana, some are actually have relatives they are going to see. And I don't know, so it depends on your plan. So we just split it. But we all came to Budapest safely and we hugged each other and then said goodbyes to each other. So it's been like three days, no sleep. Um, we, we, we were just so tired because we were not actually eating. Not that they didn't feed us or something, but the stress and uh, trauma we went through back there, it's, it's actually hectic. So we were not actually having the appetite to eat.